Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, we are going to take a look at RC trucks today that are pretty cool, highly detailed, and collectible. First up, we're going to take a look at the FMS Smasher. This vehicle actually has portable axles and it is 4x4 with two speeds. And it comes in a box that looks like this. Then after we look at the Smasher really quickly, then we're going to jump over to the Magnum. This is a vehicle that is highly collectible, super awesome looking, very vintage. I like the little chrome on it. I'll tell you some cool things about this one. You can use it as a crawler and it comes in a box like this and it's made by ROC Hobby. Both of these are available on the FMS website. Starting off with the Smasher, let me tell you some cool things about it that's going to make you want to buy it. First off, it's a ready to run. Ready to run means everything you need is in the box. I don't know why they call it a ready to run because the only thing it is missing is four AAA batteries. You need those. They're not in the box. So you need them for the included remote, but everything else is there. You get tools for the vehicle. You get extra O-rings for the suspension battery. You get the charger. You get the shock preload clips. You get the lockout gears. You get some stickers. You get the remote, of course, and you get the manual and you're all set to run this thing. And like I said, it's got two speeds and portal axles. Now, if you don't know what portal axles are, portal axles are all the rage in the crawler world. What it does is it basically lifts up the whole axle off the ground. So if I hold it this way, see how the axle is up here and the wheels are way down here. Normally you'd have your axle going through right over here, but it's lifted up. So portal axles just means there's gears in the wheels. And that's another thing I want to mention about this vehicle is the gears in here are all metal. It has metal gears. There are some metal parts underneath. Uh, obviously the suspension is a spring suspension. It's not oil filled shocks or anything like that. One thing that's really cool that I've noticed on all these vehicles you can just clip off the top on these things they're pretty simple the cool thing is is that the paint job this is not an injected color of paint this this is actually spray paint you can see on the bottom that uh, the spray uh, the overspray is there and uh, even spots that they missed and then over here on the top you have the full painting so these vehicles are high quality also inside i'll show you close up you can see all the electronics i like that they have a battery strap to go over the battery the motor is a very powerful brushed motor very common in crawlers you usually get brush motors in crawlers so that's why there's a brush motor in here vice brushless the frame is a well designed as well as the i call it a solid axle suspension because as you move one wheel down the other one goes up or both can go down at the same time very good and of course there's metal pieces uh, on the bottom now if you watch my video on the fcx24 here's a picture of it here i did a review on the fcx24 a very good vehicle that vehicle has interchangeable parts with this one because there is similar design underneath the body on this it's not licensed but if you look at it it's a ford f-150 probably a vintage ford f-150 it looks pretty cool it's pretty much the common bodies they use on a lot of monster trucks that you see at the stadiums today up front the headlights work and you can control them with the Includer remote. I will tell you right now, when you put it in crawler mode, you have the little switch on the side here to put it in crawler mode or put it in speed mode. When it's in crawler mode, this thing will climb anything you throw at it. It doesn't matter. If these tires grip something, it's going up. And even if it's like this, if somehow that could be possible. Also for going over anything, it will go over anything in its path as long as the tires will grip and get over the object. And finally, as I mentioned, it comes in this white case. It's pretty much a foam case. You can call it a storage case, but at least it comes with something. So before I show you footage of driving this outside and showing you the different speeds and everything, how about we jump over to the Magnum? So the Magnum, what exactly is it? Well, it's a Ford F1 pickup truck vintage from long ago, and it looks awesome. I love that they put all those chrome accents on it. Even the interior is highly detailed when you look inside. I don't know if my camera's picking it up, but it looks pretty awesome on the inside. If the camera's not picking up the color of this, to me, it looks like it's seafoam green, which was a very classic color back in the day. It looks uh, very very nice. And once again, just like the Smasher, this is spray painted. It is not like injected molded plastic that comes in that color. Nope, it's been painted. Looking on the bottom, you can see we have a shock system and it is a spring shock system. So it will bounce around a bit, but it looks pretty realistic when it's driving. You do have two speeds on here, but it's not two geared speeds. It's two speeds controlled electronically so on your remote you can switch from high speed to low speed in case you want to go really slow or really fast you do have working headlights as well low beam high beam up front and on the back you have tail lights that work as brake lights every time you put the brakes on 
the taillights go on. Now, being as detailed as it is, I guess the price reflects that the side doors do not open. I wish they did because it's very detailed inside. However, your rear tailgate does open. You just pull the sides and you can put stuff in the back and then you close her back up. That's it. As well, this is a ready to run vehicle, just like the Smasher. So what does ready to run mean? Well, again, it means you get the remote, you get the battery, you get the battery charger, you get the manual, you get some tools, you get the storage case. I like this storage case better than the Smasher storage case. And you will have to provide your own four AAA batteries for the remote to function. If my goldfish brain forgot to mention it, of course, this is a four by four and this is also a four by four. What's a four by four? It means all four wheels move when the gearing system is engaged. Now I like that although this is a display model, they went back to the vintage era and they actually put off-road tires on it. Very squishy off-road tires, which is pretty good. Now these vehicles, the Smasher and this vehicle here, they are not uh, bashers. This is a Smasher, not a basher. And this is a classic pickup truck, not a basher. So if you buy these, you're kind of buying them because they look really cool. You can put them on a shelf and at the same time, you can drive them around your house or your backyard. So speaking of smashing and bashing, I'm not gonna do that in this video, but I am gonna take them for a ride so that you can see what they look like driving. So we'll start off with the Smasher, then we'll go over to the Magnum and here's some video of them outside driving around. And this pretty much sums up my review and video of these two products. So my personal take on these two products, I'm a guy that collects RC cars. I have a lot of RC cars because I love RC cars. I have those I bash and crash and smash. And then I have those like this that they go on a shelf and I collect them and they look so cool. And every time somebody comes over, they go, oh, I remember that vehicle from long ago. And I go, it's pretty cool. And I can also drive it. Really? So links are below to where you can find both of these vehicles. Go check it out. See if they are for you. They do make a good gift for someone because they're not your usual dinky little car. They're an actual good quality car that you can have a lot of fun with. So with all that said, I say if you enjoyed this video or if you have questions, first off, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have questions, just post them below and I'll get back to you with the answer. But for now, I say thanks for watching. Catch you at the next one. Bye.